So, this, I might have to grab the instructions because visually, I'm getting a brain fart. <laughs> Yep, yep, we did all that. We did all that. I gotta get the math sensor. Let's get that first. All right, I'm getting excited. All right. And I'm not gonna use these, there's some loose screws. Alrighty. Put those guys back. And then we put all this in the box and keep it stocked, baby. Do the rest of the mystery parts. Okay, okay. guys out. I'm sure the, uh, sure these are gonna go on the intake. Yep. So we're gonna screw that in. So we're definitely gonna need that. This goes on the turbo. But I gotta find the clamp. Or is there, oh I could use one of the clamps. Uh, Alright I gotta look and see. It's the one thing I didn't see. All right, all righty, all righty. So I'm gonna get these tightened down. Yep, it's a three, three millimeter. I really don't wanna put an intake on this car, but I'm already knee deep into this because I had to remove the factory one. So might as well run it and see if I get a tune. If I get a tune, it'll be um, just extra to have on there. <sighs> Ugh, all right. Oh, well, oh, there's the screws. So we'll tighten these up. And we're gonna put this in there. Oh, this is super easy. Yeah, definitely needed to be tight. And looks like these are gonna go in there, like so. But I might be like jumping. Over jumping it, maybe? I don't know. We'll see. We're gonna leave that there for now. Oh, we gotta put that little piece of piping on there. That's what this guy is for. So we rotate it. There we go. Just kind of turn that down. Ugh. Well, we know it ain't coming off. Jeez. take this off big shout out to Kyler too he got rid of his crews gave me a good deal on this and hopefully I'll be happy with it cool so who know his dose maybe I won't <laughs> no it's good this on lack of soul but we're gonna take this guy actually and big tip 
when you're putting these on before make sure you find put this little screw to the easiest position that you can get to it because if something should happen and you need to unscrew it and say you put this on backwards or somewhere down there or wherever you'll hate yourself trust me been there done that do it right the first time and you won't have anything to worry about so we're going to tighten this clamp we're good there i'm going to actually open this guy up and then slide it on uh, it'll be easier to slide it on ahead of time and then slide everything else you know through or whatever later when i assemble it and put it all together and this guy ever so graciously goes in there and then this goes in here I'm going to leave this loose for now. Just a little bit. Because I may need to maneuver this one way or the other. I still got to put this big guy on. And again, be careful before where you put stuff. I'm kind of just dry fitting it right now. I want to make sure everything's going to seat properly. It looks like it's on there pretty good too. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten this down because I don't want this to move anymore. It's nice and strong. This is on. Good. So we're going to go ahead and tighten up this clamp as well. And then we still got to put that and push that down. And then hopefully no check engine lights, which we shouldn't. Um, because if that diverter went bad, which I have a feeling it did, then we weren't holding boost, which gave us the big whooshy sound because it was leaking all out as soon as I hit the gas. This is our PVC. We're gonna work that back and then go ahead and stick that on. And then I do wanna see if there's a clamp. There might not be a clamp for that, but we wanna see. I don't think so, because I don't think it gets that much pressure. So, see, so we did all this. We gotta plug that back in and Nope, doesn't look like we're doing any of that stuff, so this is it. We're gonna push this back down. Definitely put on this damn cap. Push this down. Ugh. Put this stuff away. Yay! Always gotta check that hood. I have an act for leaving hoods up. Let's roll. No tire sensors in here. You know, we gotta roll dirty. Gotta have that tire light on or the tire sensor light. <laughs> All right, hoping we don't see check engine light. Hoping, I hope it just drives better. Like I said, I didn't really wanna do the intake. For me, the last time I put it on the first gen cruise I got, I really didn't see I don't know. To me, it just gave my uh, diverter valve then a little whoosh, but not a lot. This diverter is definitely louder. And I've heard again with like a tune and stuff, it's even more loud or even louder. I'm gonna try and see if the car will relearn everything with the math sensor and all that stuff. And then kind of go from there and see what kind of, you know. I don't know. I may have a leak somewhere else. We haven't seen it yet. Yeah, we haven't seen it yet. Hello. I'm gonna see if I, I might have like a, a 
hole in my intercooler or something. Still, I'm gonna drive the car normal and then we'll give it a couple like accelerations and see if the computer's gonna kick out, if it's gonna be laggy under boost, so. I kinda hear, see? I don't know. I got a leak somewhere. I wonder if it's my wastegate. That could be my wastegate. Ugh. That's gonna suck if that's it. Oh, that's gonna suck, suck.